Yep, it is definitely cold out. Frost. I got I started the car. deliberately uh, just so I could get some more steps in <laughs> but usually when I walk across that entire parking lot by the time I get to my car I am just winded from going up that incline and across the parking lot and today like I got to my car and it literally hit me that I'm like I was breathing a little bit heavier but I wasn't like gasping for breath I know I've only been working out for 14 days now but maybe that's, I, I can accept that that's a small sign that I'm on the right track. So, yeah. Yay me. Uh, I still have like 15 minutes of exercise during the day. I got, throughout the day at work here, I get about 15 minutes of exercise here and there. It's just like I take breaks, I stand up and I walk, you know, get, Get some more water or tea at the bathroom, you know. I was just like, you gotta stand up when you're working in IT. You just gotta stand and walk, otherwise you'd be stuck at your desk. That's no way to live. So we're gonna go home, exercise, do some dinner, and uh, we'll think of something fun. <sighs> okay, I'm back. Uh, I did my nightly exercise, got my 15 minutes in of like power walking. Did the uh, same thing I did last night. Really effective. Gets a nice misty sweat in places. Uh, it says my average heart rate was 124, but at one point I saw it at like 145. So sort of jumps up and down depending on when the Apple Watch picks up the heartbeat. Which ironically is what we're going to talk about tonight in our first uh, se section of Tech Tuesday. We'll get to that in a minute. However, good news is uh, I hit all three of my goals for the day. Um, I've actually hit my move goal, my exercise goal, and my stand goal all within the last hour. So, yeah. High five. Just so you know, this is what I carry back and forth. <laughs> I got two 15 pound cast iron weights an eight pound exercise ball it's a little squishy but it's very heavy because it's eight pounds i was just looking at my statistics here so let's move on to tonight's topic in our first ever section called tech tuesday so this week 
on Tuesday. I want to start talking about things that are helping me. Make sure your phone's not in one of those other pockets. I only looked in the big pocket. So each week, I want to spend a little bit of time focusing on a couple things. Uh, this week, I want to focus on some of the gear that's helping me on my journey here. And it wouldn't be fitting without starting with the biggest thing, my Apple Watch. This is my Apple Watch. It is a Gen 3 Apple Watch, and it is the larger one. It is uh, the man size one, is what I'll call it. <laughs> Not there, there is such a thing. Anyways, on it, you could have default faces that are basically, you could choose which uh, face you want. Sometimes it's less responsive when it's not on your wrist. I chose to set this up. This is a custom profile. Shows me the date and time. Shows me a heart rate right in the middle. Breathe app. I have a exercise rings and then my exercise button here. So the breathe app, you basically set it for whatever you want using, you know, the little crystal thing. For this, you could at a glance. You could look at your activity rings. So it shows you your rings, move, exercise, and stand. So in this case, I've hit 120% of my move goal for today. This number fluctuates depending on how active you are. So if you're really active, it actually sets the goal a lot higher. Uh, it always says 30 minutes of exercise a day, and then of course 12 hours of standing. Uh, that's not 12 hours of actual standing, it just means 12 hours of the day between like one and two, I stood up at some point, right? And if you look at this, for the stand stuff, uh, it doesn't show the details, but anyways, throughout the day, you see the little zigzaggy lines of exercise? Those are when I stood up at my desk and took a walk. And it wasn't a really far walk, but it was just enough to register that, hey, my heart rate got up, I was moving, blah, 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 right? And that's how I get 15 minutes of exercise throughout the entire day. Having said that, the fun part is this workout thing. You could choose a workout based upon what it is you want to do. So the ones that I frequently do, I used to do Tai Chi a lot, but it didn't raise my my exercise rate too much because it's very low intensity. Outdoor walk, obviously, is self-explanatory. Now, outdoor walk, for that to work, it has to be able to see the GPS. So your phone has to be tethered and it has to be able to see that you're moving. High intensity is what I usually do if I'm just sort of goofing around, dancing, or whatever you want to do, pacing, throwing weights around in the basement. Wrestling is something I usually I usually set that when I'm doing like yard work. I know it sounds dumb. It's like it's meant for it to sort of be jostled around. Strength training obviously is when you're lifting weights. Indoor walk is a different one than the outdoor walk in that. It doesn't use the GPS signal, so it bases it all upon movement of your watch or your and or your phone. So say you're on a treadmill or something. And then of course there's yoga. I've done some pool swimming. I used to do indoor cycle before my exercise bike broke. And then of course we don't get into outdoor running yet. <laughs> so there is a hiking one. I did see that was new. So that'll be fun. So other than that, throughout the day, this thing, every hour on the hour, it reminds me to stand up, and then it also tells me to work on my move goal, and it gives me tips and tricks throughout the whole day. Just get up and just keep moving. Real question is, is would you want an Apple Watch 3 or the brand new 4? Now, from what I've seen from my wife's, a lot of the functionality is the same, it's just obviously it's newer and it's faster. She has the 4. It does have the EKG thing, so it can actually do a 2 probe EKG where it actually detects the sine wave, the sinus, sinus wave? I can't remember. It detects your, your, your heart rhythm electronically. It's surprisingly accurate to a degree, but it's obviously no, it's no thing that to, would replace a cardiologist obviously because it's only a true probe lead to really get like even a base of like medical competency you almost need a three probe um this is just from my old emt days ideally i think these days i think most paramedics even carry like six probe defibrillators now 
and then obviously if you go to a hospital or a doctor they're gonna hook you up with like 29 probes or something <laughs> so it's uh i have seen stories of people already like getting medical attention because their apple watch 4 was saying that they were sort of getting into an afib rhythm where it actually detected an irregular rhythm and then somebody was able to sit there and look at their watch and have it measure uh, and how it measures it, it there's a probe on the bottom and then this crown if you if you hold it like this and you don't touch your hand it makes the circuit that's how I've just watching my wife use hers that's, that's sort of how it does it fascinating it's interesting um, obviously if you have cardiac problems it's it's gadgety but it could save your life <laughs> as for me the Apple Watch 3 seems to be holding up pretty good I've I'm pretty rough with my stuff my technology I routinely break a phone every year uh, this one's lasted pretty good so keep up the uh, good streak uh, do you need an Apple Watch to exercise obviously not but if you're like me where I'm sort of data driven and I want to look at my performance so far and I want to see slight improvements um, I think it's it's an interesting tool and it certainly is a nagging reminder all day long to just keep pushing myself or to not be stagnant so even on my days where I'm trying to rest and relax it's still every hour on the hour it's like hey why don't you get up and take a walk it's just like Ah, uh, you're right. <laughs> so, so that is my unofficial review of my Apple Watch. I love this thing to death, and if I broke it, I'd definitely go buy another one. <laughs> I don't know if I get the four, but I would definitely replace it at least with three. The uh, the Gen twos and the Gen ones at this point, it's just like normal Apple obsolescence. You know, they're they're slow and the batteries are dying, and yeah. It's one of the reasons my wife uh, got a new one is because her her Apple Watch wasn't making it through the day without being charged. So it is what it is. So I do. I think in my case, I think my only negative comment is that at least in the Apple Watch Three, uh, every now and then when I'm working out, if I'm working out really hard and my watch band is a little loose it can't detect my pulse so then it doesn't register that as exercise so I'll do like 20 minutes of hard walking around the neighborhood and I'll get back and it'll say I only did like 12 minutes and it's because I think the watch just sort of rattles around I think the the way to get around that I think is to put the band on tighter but then I feel like my wrist is being squeezed you know so it's kind of a back and forth I know there's like I mean, if, if you're like really hardcore into fitness, the Apple Watch probably isn't the way to go. Like you might want to go with like a Garmin or something that has like actual heart sensors that strap around your chest. Um, but for what I call, you know, for me, what I call, you know, a, a casual exerciser so far, you know, obviously I'm not no, <laughs> I'm not no CrossFit high intense crazy. I'm good with this for now. And then I'll cross another bridge when we get to it in the future. So that's the end of Tech Review Tuesday. I'm not going to be reviewing all the latest toys and gadgets. Things that are just, you know, entertainment only. <laughs> I'm just specifically talking about things that are helping me uh, on my journey to getting healthier and happier. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed that. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm Andrew Moore. Peace, love, happiness. Boo-boo.